The COVID-19 pandemic took a toll on wedding plans in 2020. News Channel 9's Madison Moore speaks with local brides and a local wedding venue to see how they are adjusting and hoping for a better 2021. They say your wedding day is supposed to be the happiest day of your life. But for 2020 brides, it's been nothing short of a nightmare. In March, when everything kind of started to go downhill, we weren't thinking it was ever going to impact our wedding. This is Lauren Calcanino, a Syracuse native who had to cancel her 2020 wedding and reschedule for 2021. But she isn't even certain her special day will happen this year. I feel like we're kind of right back at the same spot we were last year with no answers. And here at Sky Armory, they said they were only able to have 10 out of the 80 weddings that they had booked for last year. And they said this next round of PPE loans is going to be pivotal for their business. We probably did about 20% of what our normal revenue is. Um, and so that's, you know, that's, it's brutal. Looking ahead, Samola says couples are still apprehensive to book for this year. 40% of couples get engaged between Christmas and Valentine's Day, and so usually you have this huge rush. And again, that's been it's been a drizzle, is how I would how I would reference that. And because and people are really looking at 2022, like Auburn resident Lisa Bachman, who's been engaged since 2017, and says, "What's one more year?" It definitely stinks, but I always say, you know. There's a reason behind why everything happens. So maybe it just wasn't the right timing. I definitely think it has brought us closer and I really feel like we can overcome anything at this point. A silver lining amidst so much uncertainty. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Sky Armory tells us they are urging the state to allow wedding venues to operate at 50% capacity, similar to how restaurants are currently functioning.